Hello, welcome back to Average Gamer Plays Factorio. Right, let's see what we can do to tidy up this corner. Now, I was thinking... Um, let's turn the train station names on to see. So the iron comes in at the bottom. Iron in here. And the copper comes in at the top. If I route all the iron trains to come in, uh, it may be a sort of bit more of a distance to travel, but we want all the iron trains to maybe come in at the bottom, so that is coming down. So that we want them to come in. Let's just stamp and track down. Get the straight track. So this is the output line for the iron. And I might set this to be one, just walk in a straight line. You were drunk, Spidertron, and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Where does that have to join up to over there? <clears throat> right, so. Let's try and do something on a little bit of a bigger scale. Zoom out a little bit using my Infini Zoom mod. Copy and paste. Uh, right, so if I want two lines coming out, let's see if we've got... Um, so this line... can come...
they're roughly about there. Keep pressing escape when I want to do Q or something like that. Um, see if any trains start using this but then I'll just start putting um, that needs signals going along the outside so that is So then I basically need to cut or remove this line here so that these copper trains will not meet up with the the iron trains won't meet up with the copper trains. Um, that certainly looks a lot better. Those trains are now following each other because I put those signals in. <coughs> those trains can now follow each other. One goes that way, one goes up that way. That's fine. Why was one train going all the way over there? Where is that train going? Do we have... Trains down here on the bottom left feeding smelters. Ah, that's feeding the iron for the uh, steel. Okay, so the iron for the steel there is still getting... Um, right, I could do with adding um, some more iron mines up here and then another depot and then this steel might start getting... Uh, getting its iron although maybe you know it's not too much of a problem so let's have a look and see what's causing this and it might now be that we just got a little bit more um, traffic um, because the trains dropping off the oars are now coming in a bit quicker the trains picking up the oars are sort of queuing up as well now so we've got two trains queuing up there to pick up oars that train I'm not sure it must be coming in down here somewhere I think once that train gets out the way See, these chests are empty, so the ores coming out here are going straight onto the trains. It does just need a little bit of time to speed itself up. It did occur to me whether I should have um, fewer depots in each octagon and maybe just have four depot four not depots fewer smelting stations in each octagon and have four here and then another four down here and then that'll just help split the traffic out along the network um
why is that train waiting? That's probably waiting to go down this way, I think. No train to transport, so I do need more. Yeah, I think I, I've got too many trains coming in to this smelting area down here. Now, I thought that this, these stations are set to have a limit of two. So why there's three trains sort of waiting on this one? I don't know. It may be because it just needs time to work itself out and to sort of repopulate itself. And I don't know if I need to sort of turn part of the factory off just so that it's not requesting so many circuits and therefore not requesting so many ores to make the circuits um but i think the problem is just going to represent itself at, um when um uh, when the factory does ramp up again I'm just, I, I got sidetracked a little bit. I was just thinking about, because this iron patch down here is feeding for the steel, I think I might have another um, line coming out up here and then feeding into the network on this side. That's going to smelting too. That's going to, um, yeah, that is going all the way up to smelting three, smelting four, smelting four, smelting three. So yeah, they're all coming to, right. Smelting three pick up. And then smelting three drop off and then everything else starts to sort of come in I wonder if I need to separate out the drop off stations from the pickup stations It does kind of work if the trains all want to go to different stations, but as soon as you get more than two trains coming to the same station, it gets this, you know, that's going to smelting two pickups. So that's coming to here. But this should only be set to have two trains. Um, in fact, let's go to... Melting to pick up. Open up the LTN combinator. Ah, I wonder if it's that. Um, let's limit the trains to two on there, and I don't know. Um, melting three pick up, two trains. Melting four pick up. two trains let's close that um, let's reopen that now so that pick up yeah each one of those should only be two trains and let's do the keep open see trains are already using these lines so those trains there are heading up towards the 
uh, iron, uh, the steel bar factory. So that is even fewer trains uh, coming down these other lines and clogging everything up. It looks like I, <clears throat> I do actually have to build um, another depot which I will um, do so um, do, do, do. depot let's do depot with trains And um, it's going to go around that way. So we're just waiting for that to finish fueling the trains. And it might be that, yeah, it's just waiting to get refilled. It takes quite a bit of nuclear fuel. So there are, um, I think there's 29 trains in a depot here. And each one has three wagons. And each wagon, wagon needs, uh, each loco needs three uh, nuclear fuel. So it's... Uh, calculator 29 times 3 times 3 is 261 nuclear fuel that it needs I think the train only holds 40 get refueled eventually let's have a look at the production statistics let's a turn off caps lock and b spell it properly so we have uh, we're hovering at about 3,000 a minute at the moment on average uh, in the last well in the last 10 minutes we've produced 5,000 um, the automation science nearly 5,000 the others not so many of the utility I'll have to have a look and see what the delay is with the utility science pack but we're certainly you know we're not doing too badly it is sort of ramping up a little bit there's lots of um yeah i think i need to build a second smelting array and maybe decommission four of these smelters and and rebuild them over here not so much have extra smelting but just move them around just so that the traffic on the network sort of ends up going in different places because there seems to still be a lot of um, trains queuing up over here so that train is going to head off to low density structures now i could uh, let's have a look um, so there's some smelting going on over here that is going to green circuits so that's the original green circuits isn't it not necessarily green circuits too no yeah that is green circuits too that's fine I should rename those stations so I know exactly where they're going that one is heading to again green circuits 
Um, chemical science. Low density structures. That is heading to green circuits. So this lot up here is sort of working quite well. Uh, that is the drop off station. So I don't know why it's well. I think once I hook up these uh, mines, it'll probably start using this smelting array down here. Um, let's have a look at this one over here. That's going to low density structures. That's going to low density structures. That's a drop off station. That's also going to low density structures. So, yeah. I think I just need to carry on over here hook up these mines get them to feed in um, again through different lines coming in here um, I might set up um, I mean it might be that it once it starts sort of working its way around um, let's just have a These are probably still just waiting for some fuel, aren't they? Let's. Uh, that's got two. That's got one. That's got one. So, yeah, I think they're all just going to complain until they've got three each. That one hasn't got any yet. But the trains are being called into service. And of course, a train can come back to um, a different depot than the one it started from. Uh, ah, now we have the refueling train kind of stuck. Here it comes, it's on its way. It was only a little bit stuck. Yeah, I think I now need to um, Everything does work its way through. Yeah, we've got trains trying to pick up from stations that are empty because the ore trains can't get in. Hmm. Yeah, this particular design here isn't quite working as well as, I think, this one down here. I think I just need to recreate um, you know, redo this one up at the top. Because basically as soon as a train comes in it can split off to where it needs to go and it's not sort of holding anything else up. Um, 
but this one up here was like the first version of the redesign and it's uh Yeah, so we're in a situation where the trains picking up the plates are blocking the entry for the trains dropping off the oars. Which is not what I expected to happen, to be honest with you. Now then, can I... can probably just stamp down the new um, the other rail format and then delete rails bit by bit I'm trying to work out how to rebuild this while the trains are still um, So I can put that in there. Might be a bit of a mess until it all actually gets built, but... get built it will still uh, we basically have So that is all now actually sort of built. I just need to dismantle. So, oh. is that a lot better than it was before? It seems to be. We're now speeding up a lot, um, although it looks like the right, we're still waiting for space science. Is there a reason why rockets aren't launching? 
Um, because we don't... Oh, those are the output lines. We have all the inputs there. Item ingredient shortage. Is it the... Um, so we have rocket fuel. It's the low density structures we don't have. Uh, and we don't have low density structures because... We don't have any plastic. No station supplying plastic bar. We have no... Have we run out of oil out of there already? No, we have plenty of oil. Ah, okay, okay, okay. There is... Um, there's been a mix-up with... All right, so uh, yes, I think I need to have... Um, okay. I don't think I had a recycling station set up for brick. And it's caused uh, an issue. So let's go over. Um, let's pick up. Let's dump a bunch of stuff into storage again. Turn off requests for that. Um, right. Plastic one um yeah we've had a train let's have a think how best to fix this because we've got loads of brick on here that we shouldn't have um 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 um, um. These should be filter inserters. They're just unloading the coal. Right, I don't think I need to... Um, yeah, I need to find the... It's only going to get worse elsewhere, isn't it? So I need to find which train... has still got some brick left on it. Although it might not have any brick anymore because it's probably just dumped it all out into the coal station, to be honest. Um, right, let's have a think about... Um, how best to tidy this up. Let's just uh, dump the brick into there. I'm not going to be bothered about resaving and reusing this brick anywhere else. I just want to get rid of it out of this particular system here. So I need to clear up the lines. I need to set up a brick recycling station and I need to change these to filter inserters so that they only unload coal.
Oh, that's interesting. Were we even was this one not even making anything in the first place? Just put that down there. Oop. Put that into there. Try to erase it. Tank filter inserters, we need one belt because one of those factories wasn't producing as much plastic as it should. Uh, right, so Mega Bay storage. This will sort itself out once these plastic trains start. Uh, Heading on their way. Right, we need to um, upgrade from green inserters to stack filter inserters. walking a straight line Plenty of coal coming in, plenty of plastic being produced. Plenty of plastic going out. That will tidy itself up eventually. Right, so recycling station I need. Um, I need right it doesn't use any stack filter inserters it uses stack inserters blue chests robo ports basically right uh, so we need some uh, Steel chest, we'll have a hundred of those. Stack inserters, we'll have a hundred of those. Uh, robo port, yeah, we'll just have ten. Um, LTN station, LTN combinator. Um, I think it needs. 
some power poles. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's get into that. Let's go to. Um, I don't think I have a recycling. That's it. Sulfuric acid. Still got plenty of. Uh, I haven't. No, no, no. I haven't got any rails on me. Okay, to come back with some rails. set this up for with some fluids um, do I have enough room to put in uh, so it's bricks and rocket fuel I need to add to this isn't it so I think I might have to set up a completely separate recycling station where can we put it? Bricks and rocket fuel are used more. I could share it with the uh, the research labs. Um, That's not such a bad idea because bricks are only used there and rocket fuel is, is only used sort of over here. So it's uh, okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go back to base. Let's get some rails and then let's go to the research labs and build another recycling station in there. Now I only need to build like a, a sort of two. Um, Mega uh, base storage. So I need to turn off. Uh, well, that's something flashing over there. That's the train that doesn't have a lot of fuel on it. Okay. It will get fuel eventually. Because when it goes back to another depot or whatever, it will get refueled. I'm surprised that these trains are still waiting for fuel. I mean, it might be that we're just not producing. We've just used up all the stocks of nuclear fuel and we're just waiting to produce more, basically. It's just taking time for that fuel train to uh, to stock itself up right we want some rails just pick up a boatload of rails um, right let me turn my roboport off let's go to PAX labs So I'm going to put down a blueprint for the um, the recycling and I'm going to delete most of it because I only need two stations in this one at the moment. Now then, recycling. Now, hmm. it was designed well, I can 
I'll have to basically redo the um, in the middle there. I'll have to redo all the stackers. But we have basically a drop off station, two drop off stations and two pickup stations so everything sort of after there be deleted don't need to destroy those trees Um, pick that up and put it a little bit I'll still build it out there a little bit because then we've got room to add more recycling stations on the other side if I need to so let's uh, let's build it a little bit over there let's get rid of this or I'm not going to be mining it double check when we put that down that that'll still be connected we might be missing a red wire there but I've got a few red wires um, signal that so we need to have chain signals there and then main signals Up there that'll do well we're still doing some research so that's a good thing right I need more um, stack inserters I need purple chests I need robo ports okay. Now that is going to be, let's rename this one, that is uh, Recycling for um, Brick and Rocket Fuel. That is the same as that. These are going to request brick and they will request a thousand each. 
100, 150, 250 in that one. I just didn't want to put all of the uh, logistics bots in there because I didn't want to get rid of my own. Right, so we've still got three trains waiting for some fuel. We've got recycling set up for rocket fuel and brick. We've got stack filter inserters on the coal drop-off. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, we are still launching rockets because there's some science going down the line there. So that's got 60,000 on it. That should be heading off fairly soon. And let's go back to... Uh, and let's just have a little look at the overall... So we've got lots of trains in the depots here. We've got trains happily moving around over this side. That's gone down from 102 million to 100, 127 to 124, 96 to 94, and 38 to 36. So that is sort of getting used up a little bit. Um, because we now have so many different lines, so the uh, this is going up for the uh, iron, or for the steel. I think it just involved a little bit more planning and forethought really instead of just sort of putting down random rail lines and hoping it's all going to work. So we've now got these trains going down for the smelting and feeding back in over here and I'm going to keep doing this uh, sort of thing where the trains feed directly out on one set of rails and feed directly in onto the other set even if they are so if I set up some more smelting down here and mining I'll have the trains coming out down here and then picking up the ores and going back in on this one and then similarly coming out down here and coming in on here so it's the trains aren't going to be sort of too congested or crossing over each other on the same set of uh, same set of tracks, and it's okay that there's a little bit of a queue because you know it does work its way through eventually. I think tidying up that junction as well there helps a lot because um, the trains are now able to come in and queue up where they need to go. I think I might need to just put a couple of signals on there so that the trains can sort of queue on this line instead of all the way out here, but it doesn't really. Um, but where's that going? That's trying to go down to there. Yeah, we're getting to a, another situation where we, we, it's it's sending so many trains to a pickup station that it's not able to deliver trains to the drop-off stations. Doing a drop off. It's doing a pick up. We desperately need a train to come in over here and do a drop off, but it's not.
Yeah, I think I just need to maybe build another smelting array and just have a, a, instead of having eight smelters in an array, just have four. I think it'll eventually sort itself out because a train will time out or whatever if it can't um, complete its request and it'll go back to a depot. So that train is, is, is just going to sit there waiting for ores. I think it'll eventually time out and go back to the depot. And eventually, rain will come in. That's delivering ore to there. That is now delivering ore to here. That train has timed out and it's going back. So that is. And that is delivering all to this one. That is delivering more ore. And basically, eventually, it does get itself sorted out, even though a train has to maybe sort of sit there for a while and then time out and go back to the depot. But it does clear the line for another train to come in. I would ideally like it not to uh, not to have to do that. Um, over the last hour two point three two point three yeah we're sort of hovering at sort of the two thousand ish mark but then again you know a lot of stuff wasn't necessarily working over the last hour so um I don't know why when I'm filtering on science it, it picks up things like copper cable and rail and productivity modules. Over the last 10 minutes, yeah, 1.9, yeah, it's... Um, It's not going at full speed yet. I'll have to start paying a bit more attention now to um, what these uh, LTN um, messages are telling me. I mean, a lot of these are saying that they are... Now, they have fuel. I don't know how to get rid of that um, notification. Is it just a case of deleting the train and putting it down again? Is it because it's just been sort of filled in by
not sure what it's doing, but it appears to be getting rid of all the little blue triangles, so I'm happy with that. Are these just picking up fuel out of a train and then just depositing it into another train just so that the train it can say that the train's been fueled by a building a construction bot? Maybe so. No station supplying copper plate. Okay, I think these are still filling up. Um, I haven't actually had a look too much at the, um, so the smelting array over there that is still chugging away. And then there's a smelting array up there that also is still chugging away a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll I'll tweak the um, the in and out junctions for. Uh, I'll separate the, the 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 junctions in for the ores from the junctions in for the plates, so that hopefully. Um, these smelting arrays will always have the items that they need even if these these rails have to cross over each other you know that I don't think there's going to be that much sort of traffic on the line that um, you know a train coming in delivering ores well we'll have to see I'll have to think about that I will have to think about that I might sort of do something in um, in the sandpit world where I sort of play around with some different ideas but you know we're still doing the research we have sorted out uh, a lot of the congestion issues that we had but it's still not perfect but we're making progress and making progress is a good thing for a Sunday morning I think So I will leave it there for now and I will say see you next time.